it's Crystal here. I'm back with another review video for you guys and I want to apologize. This specific product, I meant to review it such a long time ago. However, a lot of things happened in my life and it made it a little bit difficult to sit down and talk about my thoughts on this product. So I just want to apologize. I know some people were actually waiting on my review for this and I dragged it out so long. So I'm super, super sorry about that. But I am finally sitting down to talk about about a product from a skincare brand that I highly, highly admire and look up to and that is Crave Beauty and their Great Bear Relief. I purchased this product when it first came out and tried it in that time as well. However, a lot of things, like I said, happened and it got pushed back, but I'm super excited to talk about this product now. So the Great Bear Relief has 40 milliliters of product inside of it and I did purchase it from Crave Beauty's website for 28 US dollars. This is a skin soothing serum made to restore your damaged skin's barrier while also evening out your complexion. This product is jam-packed with ingredients that are meant to replenish what your skin lacks, such as tamanu oil, which is an oil that has the ability to regenerate the skin, safflower oil, and rose hip seed oil, which are both oils that have a lot of skin nourishing properties and contain a high concentration of linoleic acid, which helps restore damaged skin barriers. The combination of these is what actually gives the serum its lightness and ability to absorb into the skin without any greasy feelings. There's also NMF plus ceramides, cholesterol, and squalene, and all of these imitate a healthy skin barrier which are all already naturally found in your skin. These ingredients are important in this product because when your skin gets stressed out, your skin actually ends up losing these ingredients, which makes it very vulnerable. There's also niacinamide in the serum, and niacinamides are a popular and gentle ingredient that lots of companies incorporate in their skincare products. It helps with skin reparation, anti-aging skin brightening, as well as acne prevention. Not to mention, 2% of all the proceeds of the Great Barrier Relief go towards the Great Barrier Reef as well, which I believe is a very good cause. So not only are you protecting your skin, but you are also helping with having some part of the money going from this product to protecting the coral reefs as well. So how I use the product, I use it like any other serum. I cleanse my face and then I apply toner. After the toner sickness to my skin, I move on with the Great Beer Relief. And basically you can stop here because it can act as a moisturizer. But if you have drier skin or you just feel like it's not enough, you can always layer on top your own moisturizer. But I actually stopped at the Great Beer Relief because I have oily skin and I just felt like I didn't really need that extra moisturizing layer. So that is a very simple and easy way I incorporated this into my skincare routine. Of course, I used it morning and night and in the morning, always put sunscreen on top. So after talking about how this product is incorporated in my skincare routine, I want to go ahead and roll the clip of my first impression of the Great Bear Relief. So I just wanted to show you guys, this is the, or well, my skin at the moment. So these two are new breakouts, this one's a new breakout, but all of this right here is strictly acne scars. And on my chin as well, they're all acne scars. I don't really have any breakouts on my forehead or my nose, but this cheek as well. I have breakout right here, but all of this right here is also acne scars. So a majority of the blemishes on my face are acne scars. No matter what I do, if I don't pick at it, if I don't touch it, like anything, it ends up being a scar. My skin's just really sensitive and thin. Um, so I put toner on and I am going to go in with the Great Barrier Relief by Crave Beauty. This is the first time I'm trying it and it's so cute, oh, so tiny. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and mainly apply it on my cheeks because that's where I kind of want to concentrate it. And I'm just gonna spread it. And it's very nutty <laughs> in terms of scent. And I can see why Leah had to make a disclaimer because the scent is pretty strong. But it's not that unbearable, in my opinion, for me. But the Tamana oil definitely has a strong scent to it. I don't know if my camera's adjusting, I can't see very well, I'm not wearing any correction, but it spreads really easily. And if you can tell, like it 
melts into my skin so nicely. Like it doesn't feel heavy, it's super lightweight. It just feels like a moisturizer basically, but like a super fast absorbing moisturizer. And I don't even remember if I put any on my chin, so I'm just gonna put a little bit on my chin because I have some acne scars there. Like I feel like you don't even need to pat it in just because it absorbs so nicely and beautifully into the skin. I will check in in the morning to see how my skin is doing. Good morning. It is the day after um, I used the Claire's Great Barrier Relief and this is the outcome of my skin just waking up here and I don't know like so far no breakouts. I did not feel any weight on my skin at all. Sometimes um, when I try to use something extra moisturizing or additional products, I can feel like it's weighing down on my pores. But with the Crave Beauty Great Barrier Relief, I didn't feel that at all. Not to mention, I don't really see or feel any dry patches. There's not any whiteheads either. Lately, I've been getting a bunch of little whitehead breakouts on my face every time I wake up. But this time, I don't see any. And my skin actually looks a lot smoother and I don't know if it's just in my head but I feel like some of my acne scars faded just a bit but I, I don't know if that's just in my head or not so I'm excited to try this for a whole month and see what the outcome is like in a whole month now that we talked about my first impression of the Great Bear Relief I want to talk about my one month impression of the product so I can't really say fast forward because in this point of time we're flashing back because I used it for about a month and then made my notes about it. Anyways, because this product is so simple, my pros and cons for this product is actually not that long. So let's just dive right into what I enjoy about this product first, like always. So I want to talk about the application. This is super easy to apply on the skin because it's so lightweight. It absorbs so incredibly well on my face, no greasy feeling, never felt heavy on my face never felt like my pores were being suffocated at all and it is like I said super moisturizing where I didn't have to add an extra layer of moisturizer on top however I feel like in the winter I probably will I also noticed a decrease in redness and irritation on my skin as well and I know the color may have some part in it because it is green and green does you know cancel out redness however I felt like my skin wasn't as it didn't feel as inflamed as before when I used this product so I know the ingredients are definitely doing something for my skin as well. On top of that, I noticed that my complexion looked a lot smoother, even, and brighter and I know like my skin looked a lot smoother and it felt a lot softer as well and a lot of people actually notice because when I put foundation on sometimes you can still see like the bumps on the face but when I used this product and I put the foundation on a lot of people complimented telling me that my skin looked a lot better and smoother than it usually did so I really enjoyed getting those compliments. On top of that, the most important thing about skincare products for me is that it never broke me out. So definitely loved that. Now that we talked about what I enjoyed about the product, let's move on to what I didn't really enjoy about the product. And of course, I honestly, I only have one thing that I can think of that could be a con and that is the nutty smell. It smells quite earthy and for me, it didn't really, it doesn't really bother me that much because that scent I can live with, but I'm just only putting this in my cons because I literally can't think of anything else besides the scent that some people might be, ooh, about the smell. Like I said, for me, it doesn't bother me that much. When I first used the product, it kind of took me by surprise, but after that, it really was no big deal, but some people really don't like the earthy nut smell, so I just wanted to put that in the cons list for anybody who is like that, but it does linger for sure, so that's why I wanted to put that in the con. So I did record like weekly clips of my skin of me using this every day for a whole month. So I want to go ahead and roll those clips over so that you guys can see the process of my skin.
So now that you guys saw the process of my skin, I just want to quickly wrap this video up and mention that would I recommend this for anybody? I would highly recommend it to almost everybody. This is meant for all skin types, so it does not target specific skin types at all. Because it's so lightweight, it works very well with oily skin type. Because it's also moisturizing, drier skin types can also use it. And because it has really, really wonderful ingredients in here, it also works out for sensitive skin types as well. And $28 is pretty pricey. However, when you really think about it, a lot of serums are much more expensive than that. And not to mention, this will last you quite some time because a little bit goes a long way. And if you are the type of person that has like bumpy skin and you have like irritated skin or inflamed skin, I highly, highly recommend this product. It really did help the redness and irritation of my skin and smooth out my complexion. I cannot emphasize that enough that it really made a difference in my skin. So that wraps it up here. If you have any questions about the product or any questions at all, definitely leave your questions in the comment section down below. I will try my very, very best to answer all of your questions. And if you found this video really helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next review. Thank you so much.